and welcome back to another video with DIYs by Carolina. I hope you guys are doing well and having a blessed Sunday. If you are new to this channel, oh my gosh, welcome you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Carolina and I would love to have you join my family of subscribers if you enjoy this type of content. And as usual, to my existing subscribers, welcome back you guys. So I am super excited to be bringing this video to you guys. This is, guys, I'm going to be doing a project I have been wanting to do for a while. Uh, some of my viewers or subscribers or whatever have mentioned in the comment, hey, you know what? Have you thought about maybe, you know, pressure washing and staining your fence or whatever? <sighs> Y'all, so I'm going to be starting some of that in this video today. So I am going to be staining my fences and as usual, you know, you have to wait until the boards dry out before you can, did I say staining? So before I get to actually pressure washing my fence, there is another little project that I want to undertake and I want to share with you guys. I actually want to add some brick edging around the landscape edging around the deck area. So you guys might recall that around my deck space, I actually had the landscape edging all around the flower bed. And the landscape edging is no more than about an inch or an inch and a half in height. And so whenever a strong or a hard rain would come through, it would always cause the mulch to actually spill over the landscape edging. And so I was constantly having to rake up mulch from around the landscape area and putting it back into the flower bed. So that was actually one of the main purposes of me um, getting the brick edging was to hopefully prevent that. Okay, you guys, so we're going to take a quick look at what the deck space looks like currently with just the landscape edging. So it's not terrible, but it definitely can be improved. And I'm looking forward to actually adding these brick edging because I feel like the brick edging is just going to make the space look more nicer, more cleaner, and just more pristine. And so I think that the brick is going to just really, really add that pop that the deck is missing that extra oomph so <laughs> so i am excited and i am looking forward to adding this and this was definitely a budget friendly diy like i mentioned earlier i would buy the bricks probably like 20 to 24 bricks every two weeks and it was literally costing like about 24 to 27 dollars you guys and so right here you guys can just kind of see an example of what the brick edging looks like when i started applying it around the flower bed around the deck area so I'm just going to be doing that around the entire deck space and you guys will see, um, you know, what it looks like whenever the mulch will spill over whenever it rains. And so I'm always having to rake up mulching. And so hopefully that will eliminate that. Okay, so to get started with this easy DIY project, all I basically did was just move back the mulch from the landscape edging. Um, so I just pushed it back far enough to, you know, squeeze in the bricks. And I just pretty much did that the entire way through. It, this was really simple, really easy. Uh, there's nothing, you know, difficult involving this. Is just simply pushing the bricks up right against one another and also I flip the bricks um, in terms of uh, the long end to the short end so I'll start off putting a long end or just whatever end you start off with first but the next brick you put down beside it you just kind of want to turn it around so then that way the bricks will actually fit snug together <music> Now, in some spaces, I did have gaps. Uh, that's mainly because of the way I had the landscape edging with the curves. And so anytime you have the curves, the bricks are not going to, you know, 
they're, the joints are not going to match up. You know, they're going to, you're going to have a gap basically. And what I plan to do later on is I plan to actually fill those gaps with some concrete cement. And that's something that I'll probably do in a later video. Okay, you guys, so here's a quick look at what the entire space looks like after all of the brick edging has been applied to the landscaping. I am in love with this, you guys. This looks amazing. I am so glad that I decided to do this. Everything now looks so nice and clean and I don't have to worry about the mulch spilling over anymore. This is definitely a win-win. So the other project that I'm going to be undertaking in this video as well, I am actually going to start with pressure washing my fence. Now there's a lot of fence in the front yard to pressure wash so I know for a fact I'm not going to be able to do it all in this video. So I'm going to do a little bit this video and then maybe do a little bit the next video. But the goal is to pressure wash it, getting it really, really nice and clean. So eventually I can go ahead and stain it. And I think that's gonna look phenomenal. Some of my um, viewers uh, commented about, you know, hey, you know what? The fence will look amazing when you stain it. You guys, I was already one step ahead of you. I always like to put this pool uh, chlorine bleach or whatever it is on my fence um so i do this to kind of loosen up that dirt and that grime and so i'll spray this on first and as a matter of fact i'm going to be using this little device here to spray the um bleach solution on the fence i've already rinsed this out because um i used the solution in it from the last time so i just rinsed it out really good and i'm going to fill this with that bleach hook my water hose up to it and I'm going to spray the fence and just kind of let that sit and marinate a little bit maybe about five minutes or so then I'm gonna go ahead and start pressure washing it and guys when you do it that way the dirt and grime will literally melt off the fence so you guys can see behind me what the gate and the fence is looking like this one is really really bad you guys can see it looks like it's just like a really dark moldy color so I'm going to be pressure washing all of this. Once again, I know I'm not going to be able to do it all in this video because this is just one side of it. There's another side on the opposite side of the house. So I'm going to probably get about this much done, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, because I still have a lot of other stuff I want to do. But I'm going to get as much done as I could and then eventually once the fence have dried out and normally that takes about a week or two then I'll stain it because you know you can't add your stain right after you know you pressure washed it and it's still wet because you don't want it to rot from the inside out those boards have to dry completely out before you stain it okay because the water will get trapped in the board so it'll probably be sometime around I'm guessing late November probably before I even have the chance to stain it and that's that's just depending on you know whether the temp whether the weather stays dry or not so We'll see.
Okay, you guys, so we're about to go ahead and get started with pressure washing my fences. So before I do that, I'm going to actually spray that pool bleach solution on the fences. And as you guys can see, I'm actually using that little spectracide uh, container to do that. Now remember, I washed this out completely, make sure it was clean before I added my bleach uh, solution because this little container, you can actually use it for other projects. And this is perfect for spraying the bleach on my fence. So we're gonna spray this on, let it soak for about five or seven minutes, and then I'll go in and start pressure washing. you guys so I've already applied the bleach solution to the fences and I'm just gonna you know kind of wait and let that kind of soak in for about five minutes or so and then I'll go ahead and start pressure washing I added the hat you guys because I just literally got my hair done and we don't need to get it wet mm -mm, that's a no-no so um, we're gonna go ahead and give it a few minutes and then we're gonna go ahead and crank up this pressure washer and get to work So guys, do you see what I was talking about when I say that the dirt and grime literally melts away? And I really feel like a lot of that is because of the pool chlorine. It really makes it a lot easier to clean the fence and you can do this with your fence area as well as your deck. Just by applying that pool chlorine first and then just giving it a few minutes to kind of marinate in the, um, the boards or whatever and then go back and pressure wash it, you will see a huge difference. So the time is 7 p.m. and this is how far I've gotten. Yikes, so I still have a bit to go. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit more because it's getting dark, y'all. Um, so I'm gonna try to do a little bit more and whatever I don't finish up, I'll you know do it tomorrow. So, but yeah, I think I've made pretty good lead way. And y'all look at the transformation. <gasps> Amazing. And y'all, like I told you, that pool bleach, it made that dirt and grime melt off the fence. So I really didn't have to like go over the fence like multiple times, just the, you know, up and down, whatever. But y'all, that bleach just made the dirt and grime melt off the fence. And look, it looks amazing you guys i can't say enough about how good this looks so like i told you before once i've done this because this is just one side okay i still got to do the other side and that side might be a little bit more challenging because i have these huge um hedges uh the azaleas over there so i'm gonna have to trim all that down yeah it's gonna be a whole thing you guys so that'll be another video but i think we can officially call this part one I don't know how many parts to the series, but this is definitely part one to how many ever parts, okay? So part one is official. All right, you guys, so the time is now 7.45 p.m. It's starting to get dark outside. So I'm gonna try to do as much as I can before calling it a night, and I'll just basically pick up where I left off on tomorrow. So it's the next day y'all have to excuse me i have my little bonnet on here it's early in the morning you guys it's like 8 45 okay 
So I just wanted to show you guys what the fence is looking like so far. So I went until it got dark, as you guys could see from in the video. I went until like, yikes, it was early, but it, you know, it's getting dark so quick now. But anyway, I just want to share with you guys what that space, what the fence is looking like so far, y'all. I just couldn't wait to get out here and take a look at it. So, you know, we have to finish it up today. We have to finish it up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So let's take a look at what the fence is looking like at the moment. Y'all, don't that look amazing? Oh my goodness. Look at the before and after. Oh my goodness. So I, I did like half of the fence last night and I just have to do this little portion here today. And then I think I may actually, now this part of my fence really don't look that bad to be honest, but I feel like I might need to, you know, just kind of pressure wash the gate a little bit because it's starting to get those really dark, grimy um, stains on it. So I might go ahead and do the fence, but I think this area over here is fine. But y'all, don't that look amazing? It's amazing what a little pressure washing can do. And so like I told you guys before, the plan is to stain all of my fencing or whatever in the front space. Um, but I, I have to actually wait until the boards dry out. And I normally, I normally like to give it at least a week or so with dry temperatures. Um, that's, you know, in case, you know, that's hopefully if it doesn't rain or anything. Um, and because it's cooler now, we don't have like any really, really high humidity because that humidity will also dampen the inside of the boards too. So yeah, probably in about a week or so, I'll go ahead and record me staining everything. Oh my goodness, I am just so, amazed at how the fences literally look new okay you guys so i just had to share that with you <laughs> all right so it has been a couple of days since i started the project with pressure washing the fences a couple of things have happened uh, we've had some really really bad storms in the area strong wind and uh, rain and it pretty much ruined the umbrellas on my patio and my deck area blew them completely off the uh, rods and ripped them so yeah that's two new umbrellas i have to purchase but thankfully the canopy didn't go anywhere thankfully oh my god all right, you guys, so I wanna go ahead and finish wrapping all of this up with pressure washing the fences on the one side of my house. And then in the next video, I'll be finishing up the other side, which is going to be a little bit more challenging because of all the tall hedges that's over there as well. So let's go ahead and wrap this up. All right, you guys, so here's a quick look at the fence after it's been completely pressure washed. So I'll wait maybe about a week and a half to two weeks to get this chance to dry out. Hopefully we'll have drier weather. Um, yeah, because the last thing I want to do is add the stain and then the water gets trapped inside the fence and it starts to rot from the inside out. We don't want that to happen. But anyway, here's a quick look at everything. I really didn't need to paint this part. I just did it just to see if it made that much of a difference. Um, Honestly, this this is fine. This is this is fine. I'm not going to even pressure wash that part. But I did went ahead and pressure wash the gate, which left an even bigger mess for me to clean up on the patio space. Yikes! You guys, look at this mess that I have to clean. Oh gosh, I just made more work for myself to be honest. Oh, what can you do? yeah so crap so i'm gonna you know get to cleaning this and i'm gonna have to pressure wash it of course but yeah I, I love the way it looks and this is the stain that i'm going to be using you can see it on the gate right here 
I love this stain. This is the exact same stain that I have on my deck. So can you imagine how beautiful that's gonna look? So I can't wait until it's time to stain this. That's gonna look phenomenal against the light color house. The contrast is going to be perfect. So super excited about that, can't wait to do that. But yeah, job is completed, yay. Okay, you guys, so this brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's content. If you did, don't forget to share it with your friends and your family and give this video a huge thumbs up. And I will see you guys in my next video, which will be part two of the outdoor series. Bye now.